Vancouver Film School has been around a long time now. We have many different departments ranging from acting all the way to game design and programming over here. And it's our mandate and our mantra to help people enter the creative world. I'm Christopher Mitchell. I'm head of the School of Creative Technologies here at Vancouver Film School, which is to say I run game development at VFS. I've been at VFS for about 12 years now, but I've been head of these departments for about six years. I'm still somewhat in the industry as just about all the instructors at VFS are. Once you start making games, it's pretty hard to stop. Obviously, things like game design and art direction and programming techniques are essential in what we do. Technology is the medium we do it in. So of course, we always seek out just the best screens, the best desktop, everything we can to give students the best chance to succeed. I've been using the Armory workstation with an AMD Ryzen 9 CPU and Kingston memory. The screens are beautiful, the graphics cards are ridiculous, the CPUs are crushing things. We open software packages that should take 15 minutes to open and they're only taking five. I'm fully converted at this point. As technology changes, we too have to change with it. I've been here for five years and in five years, I have changed my curriculum <laughs> a huge amount of times. There's a lot to cover and it's essential to prepare them for industry standards. As an artist, the foundation is to make sure that we create a final output that has the right values for PBR. Having a monitor that is 144 hertz refresh rate and shows accurate colors is ideal for game development. We've been using the ASUS ProArt 27-inch QHD monitor. I find that every time the students see the monitor, they're just blown away with the color depth. They don't see any flicker. It's just an accurate representation. My name is Quinn Henshaw. I am a game programming instructor at Vancouver Film School's Game Design Program. I teach students how to program in Unity and C Sharp, put their games together. We need fast PCs, fast video cards, everything we can to help push our games forward. We've been using the Asus ProArt P16 laptop. The 4K OLED screen is really nice for getting the most of your project when you got HDR on working with Bloom. I was really impressed by the AMD Ryzen CPU. Opening projects was really, really quick. The NVIDIA RTX 4070 was really impressive. Especially on a laptop, I was able to turn on some of the newer DLSS features in Unity and get it running at 4K 60 FPS, which is pretty ridiculous on a laptop. Our full desktops here can't do that, so I was really, really happy with that performance. A lot of laptops will get warm, start to throttle things, so your frame rate goes down, it gets hard to work. I didn't experience any overheating. Normally with a high-performing laptop, you're expecting a very large form factor desktop replacement, but it was really nice just being able to take it anywhere and work on it. I'm Connor Roberts, I'm studying game design, and I've been working on a project called Project Haste. It's a first-person shooter where you play against three other players. It's super fast-paced and kind of frantic and chaotic, and it really scratches the brain. Our goal was to make a product that could win the Unity Award for Best Student Project. Asus ProArt P16 laptop is absolutely wonderful. The biggest thing for me was the screen. Color accuracy is incredibly important, especially in games. I did some of the technical art for the project. Having that color accuracy meant that we were able to tell in the purest form what the game would look like. The Asus dial pad is actually incredibly cool. I added a whole bunch of functions to the dial for things like changing brush size on the fly really quickly or moving through frames individually by just going on the dial. Having that really fantastic piece of kit just meant that I was able to produce so much faster. Working with the ASUS team has been fantastic because we're getting our hands on equipment which is literally three days old. Stuff that just reached the market is now in our hands, it's in students' hands, it's a, it's a great place to be. 